Good afternoon. As promised, a special cocktail for the holiday season that I've been enjoying that we had at our party last night. The story about this comes from a restaurant here in town. It was a restaurant called Tilth. Very good dining, very good food, and a drink that, of all things, involved pear. And I said pear juice. You don't see pear juice too often on a menu. But this drink, the Impressionist, uses pear. Pear and tequila, if you can believe that. And I said, all right, I've got to have this. I've got to try this out. And there's allspice and other kind of wonderful things in it. I said, what on earth could they be doing with this Impressionist? I had it. I loved it. And I asked the server, I said, I'm going to have another. Can I watch you make that? I, I have to know what's in this. And he said, no, no, we've got to have our little secrets. Little, little by little throughout the evening, though, I would start to say things like, hmm, oh, wow, so there's no, there's no particulate in here. This allspice, it's not shaved. Is this, is this a dram of allspice? And he said, yes, actually it is. And later on, I asked a different server, just passing by our table, I said, the tequila, I, I've forgotten, what tequila is in the Impressionist again? She said, oh, that's, it's the silver, it's El Himador. I said, oh, oh, yeah, thank you, thank you very much. And playing with the ratios in my head and the tastes, eventually on the way out, I just asked the Mater D. I said, look, you don't have to tell tales out of school, but do you, uh, do you use kind of a one-to-one -one on this with the pear and the tequila and a very little, maybe, maybe barely over a spoonful of the allspice? He's like, yeah, you, you pretty much got it. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a stolen impressionist. A, a Thomas Crown, if you will. Go one-to-one -one on pear juice and any kind of silver mild tequila that you might like. In this case, just to be as close as I could to the original, I did pick up a bottle of El Jimador. I'm not really a tequila person, frankly. The few times I go for it, I'm just getting Añejos. So getting a silver or mild tequila was a little out of character for me. Once you're there, a little goes a long way with the allspice. Now, you can make an allspice dram yourself. It, there's a recipe, I'm pretty sure uh, Jake Kenji Lopez has it on Food Lab. There has never been a company producing this for years and years and years. It was popular in Jamaica. It's kind of a tiki drink additive. St. Elizabeth's does make an allspice dram now. So we're going to go with just a little more than a spoonful on that. Might have been a little heavy there. Orange bitters, not entirely necessary. Oh, dearest, I forgot an orange. Can you pass me the orange and the fruit peeler, please? Good vigorous stir. should just about do it. That's all you really need. Yeah. A little garnish if you want. Thomas Crown. Merry Christmas.